Hey gang, Michael Daniels here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a presentation within a Hangout. Check this out. So the first way I'm going to show you is to how to use the Hangout toolbox to do overlays. So you can see how to uh, do an overlay and do a presentation that way. So I'm going to open up the Hangout toolbox, which one of the menus off to the left hand side. Once I have that open, I'm going to come over to the little silhouette with a circle in it. Choose that one. And I have saved presets already. And it, just for this demo purposes, you would create one here with a custom overlay, but that's a whole different demo. So what I want to do is I want to show you if I click my first demo overlay and check it off. Boom, it brings it up on screen. And as you can see right here, you can see I'm presenting this to an audience. So I would want to sit off to the side and do my presentation like so. I can make this as large as I want, cover the whole page, however I want to do it. If you look right on screen, you'll see me click on the bottom one, which is overlay number two. It brings up the next overlay and I can sit there and talk about it. This is an example of doing a presentation with using overlays on your screen. Okay, the next way I'm going to show you is using Google Drive and actually a Google Slide. And you do that by clicking New and then Google Slides and Create One. Okay, now I've already done one, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And what happens when I do that, I get a page that opens up. Now I have my presentation opened all the way up. And now I want to be able to present to everyone. Okay, which is fine. But here's the trick and here's the key you can hit present but what that happens with that is it takes up your whole page I want to actually present in a new window so what happens is it covers the whole page as you can see this takes the whole page and now I can't see the hangout or anything behind me so what I want to do even though this won't change for my audience I'm going to shrink this down so I can see what's behind me so now I can minimize the, the uh, presentation sheet that I have open. When you hit the screen share option, this is what it gives you. And as you can see, I have four monitors and then any open program that it has. And what I want to do is I want to click the uh, presentation that I'm going to be doing and then click share. So now when that comes up on screen, this is what I have. I see this and I can see on my uh, Hangout window, I'll show you, this is my Hangout window, I can see what's going on, and that's my presentation. So if I go over here to just the presentation, no worries about inside the Hangout because that's not showing. All, the, all your guests are seeing are what's on the outside. If you do have three or more people in the Hangout, you can always um, present to everyone, and by presenting to everyone, then the film strip goes away for the people out there watching. It says you are screen sharing and presenting to everyone. I hope that helps. So I can still see the hangout, but yet my presentation is still in its own little window. And I'm going to take out the black lines, get it you know, sized up the way I want to do it so I can present. And then as you can see, I can click next and slide. I have my slide tools, my navigation bar down below and that's all that my guests will see so that's the key you have to just remember that the only thing the guests will see is what's down here in the presentation they won't see any part of me waving in the hangout or anything like that they won't see any of that all they'll see is the presentation then I can go from slide to slide to slide okay and the last one I want to show you is using Manicam I do presentations with Manicam all the time so what I want to do is I want to click on one of my new squares Go to desktop and I'm going to custom area. When I choose this custom area, what happens is I go to it and now I've got this little dotted line. So I want to make it the size of my presentation. So to do that, I would size it up just right. Boom. And, and, and I can tell that's my presentation back behind there. Now I'm going to take this Manicam off screen, but you could do this, you know, you, you would want to do this and keep this on screen, okay? Because you may only have one monitor, etc. Okay, so I'm going to pull that off. So now you can see 
I have just the presentation showing, hopefully. And what I want to do is put it right there so it's within the area of just showing the slide. That's really what I want to do anyway. Okay? Can actually bring that up a little bit so it's above my navigation bar. So now I even have that luxury of it. So it's only showing a little bit of the navigation bar. So now when I do a presentation, I can present through and it just takes me through each different area and I'm doing the same thing. So that's the third and final way that I wanted to show you today of how to do a presentation doing those Hope things. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave comments and I'll be glad to answer. And as always, folks, remember, please subscribe and watch more of MD Quick Tips. Thank you very much. <laughs>